Thanks for checking this video out. Your mountaintop news video is coming up in just a minute. Did you know that it's going to be watched thousands of times, shared a bunch of times, likes, comments, you name it, it's going to be there. Why is it your ad here? Call me. On Sunday, January 22nd, women's rights activists rallied at the Pikeville County Fiscal Courthouse to discuss the problems women face and how they can overcome said problems. Gender equality was the main talking point for the event, and both women and men were in attendance to join the conversation. Um, so today was reflecting National Action for the Women's March. A uh, theme this year is bigger than Roe. As, as people know, uh, today was the 50th anniversary of the Roe v. Wade decision, which was unfortunately overturned this past summer. Um, so as a result, we wanted to, to have, a, have a chance for the community to gather and discuss the issues that affect you know, women in the area, women at a national level, just all of us as a community. Here in Southern Appalachia, we're often characterized as, as you know, backwards or, or uh, conservative or uneducated. So it's wonderful to see people being involved in their community and involved in things that affect us on, on a larger scale to, to, to fight against those stereotypes that people tend to have against us. The rally also featured guest speakers and gave everyone in attendance an opportunity to voice their opinions. Those involved were able to show their dedication and advocacy towards today's socio-political issues. Okay, so in addition to myself, we had speakers today like uh, activist Danielle Kirk, we had uh, Stephanie Richards, uh, who works with um, uh, Artist Collaborative Theater, uh, Dr. Janessa Kilgore Bowling, all gave fantastic speeches. Um, all of that's going to be posted on our on, online and on our social media accounts. So if people weren't able to attend today, because I know it was, it was it's a weekend, it's it's been a, a rainy uh, day, it's, it's it's not you know great to get out in. Uh, people will still be able to to engage with the content we've people will still be able to engage with what we were doing here today. It's a much more far-reaching, interconnected issue than people tend to, tend to consider it. Um, so yeah, I, I feel like the, the struggle for women's rights is a struggle for human rights, and it affects all of us, whether, whether you identify as a woman or not. Reporting from Mountaintop News, I'm Nick Collum.